<laughs> at the front of the opera house. It is probably about two hours until we have to play a show in the concert hall of the Sydney Opera House. The most beautiful and terrifying room in the country. Yeah. All right, let's go. Are you coming? Was it up? We've played here once before in two shows um, in the drama theatre and they were terrifying. So um, this is four times as big. So um, yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> it's gonna be fun though. I'm just nervous. You know like when you can't, like you get very anxious and it helps to like crawl into a little ball? Do you think it's better that you've been like playing yeah. flat out? I feel pretty confident in all our songs. We hadn't played like West Side Story, Trepidation, anything like that for like over a year. Kelly's one of my best friends in the whole world. Tomo's like our mum and Kelly and I are like sisters. I love them. Everything I do now in my day-to-day -day life, it seems to incorporate Tomo and Georgia. They're my family and they mean more to me than anything else and it goes beyond like making art together now. I think it's the nature of like the type of songs we're writing as well as the like reason we do music now. Like it started off just kind of like trying to write good music and then the band turned into something completely different. It was like almost a, it was like a, it became a political job that we were doing. We just spent seven weeks in a van together, so the amount of this is this is feels far away. It started with me and Tomo like jamming in her living room, and I remember just like playing one of my songs, and she like started playing along to it, and I was just like, "Stop! It's perfect. You're doing everything right. Let's go on to the next one. That's perfect." And then I didn't actually hear what Kelly was doing on the bass until. We like just like recorded a song with a friend. We were listening back to it and I was like, oh, that's how you're doing. And it was just perfect. It was like a big lesson in like trust for me, like playing with Kelly and Tomo, because it's like my first band. Whenever Georgia writes a song, it brings up something personal for me that she might not even know about. So I'm always so grateful for the, our songs in that way that they remind me of something that, that it might not even be talking about, but it brings up this like feeling or like this, it, whether it be like a memory or like a moment that I felt like empowered. Georgia says the line, that's not me in the back row no more. And every time we play it, I smile <laughs> because I go, oh my goodness, I used to go to shows all the time and I used to stand in the back and I used to feel so uncomfortable. And now literally here I am on stage. And like to me, that song hits me like right in the lungs. This is the longest set we've ever played in our whole entire lives. And I remember like last time we were freaking out, it was like an hour. Yeah. We also only had one album. Yeah. The Opera House is the first place we ever played the opener last time we were here. Thought it would be ironic, I suppose. Playing it the first time here was really interesting because you can see the crowd, I guess, because everyone's seated, you can see everyone's face, which is probably why it's so terrifying. But watching people's faces as each line came out of that song, because we'd never played it before, people were getting it as it was coming out, because we didn't know how it was going to be received, I suppose. This is crazy, I feel so fancy. Playing live, as cathartic and, and nice as it is, none of it is as good as when people sing back at you. I remember the first time that happened and it was when it, at our um, album launch in Melbourne at the Curtain and everyone just knew the lyrics. It was so cool, like it blew my mind. It, was, it felt very like special. If someone's singing your music back to you and with so much passion that they, our audience does, it's one of the best feelings. It still feels like such a magical thing I think like one of the best feelings in the world is singing together. I just think it's like, like connects people because you're all like feeling your own way about this thing, but it's all kind of the same. Five minutes until the commencement of this evening's performance. Your five-minute call. Thank you. I just hope I can get people to like connect to themselves because it's how I connect to myself by um playing music and singing 
and like listening to music. I can't imagine not being in Camp Cope. I can't imagine not playing music with Kelly or Tomo. It would be like missing a, a limb or something. Like I can't. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, Ivan will be giving us clearance in one minute. I can feel it coming. I can hear someone screaming out in the darkness. At least you're here with me in the darkness.
Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for coming. It's the last show, everything good comes to an end. And it's ending. And that's okay, it's a happy ending. It's all good, everyone relax. We are Camp Cope. <laughs> and we rock. Not only because we're a great band, it's because we're all voting yes tomorrow, aren't we? Phone in my hand Still checking if you called I'm double texting Now I've never been cool And I'll burn that bridge When I get to it Yeah, I'm on fire We're so grateful and happy to be here. Thank you so much to the Opera House for having us one last time. Aww. Aww. Um, this is a song that I don't think we've played in, in or like five years, maybe more. I don't think, okay, maybe since like the last time we played at the Opera House. Um, don't judge me, I wrote it when I was like 18, okay?
so much. Oh my God, playing that song makes me realize like how much we've changed since we like first started the band. Like when I wrote that song, I was like all like emo and quiet. And like now good luck shutting me up. It's never gonna happen. Um, which I kind of like love. Like the world needs more annoying women. And I'm really, <laughs> I'm really uh, advocating for that. Like, yeah, I hope that's the legacy I leave behind. <laughs> like, she was just so annoying. And like, not palatable, and it doesn't matter. Everyone else here is cool. <laughs> and normal. Okay, um, right, this is a song about Dumb cunts. <laughs>
you so much. Got the acoustic out now. Does anyone like the song Wonderwall? I do, it's a great song, and I don't care what anyone says. Okay, don't um just be yourself. You know, I love Wonderwall. Who cares? Okay. This song's about love. He said his heart was on the wrong side of his chest. I placed my hand over it. Let me show you how vulnerable I am. The giant steps. people to thank we've been a band for eight years and we couldn't have done it without every single one of you for like liking our music and supporting us and coming to our shows and like listening to our music we are so so grateful like OMG <laughs> Thank you.
Um, so the label who has supported us and put out all our music, Poison City Records. Um, well, yeah, from the bottom of our hearts, we would like to thank Andrew Hayden and Tomo also as well, who works there. Rock on, Tomo. Yeah, Anya, Tomo. Um, yeah, so thank you for, I don't know, believing in us and wanting to watch us rock. Um, we're so grateful. <laughs> Go on, do it. Um, so, we're all very different people now than as we were <clears throat> when we first started the band. And this song's really special to me because it's about Melbourne, where I grew up and I lived, and now I live in Los Angeles, and this song feels more relevant than ever, and... I'm, I feel very lucky to play it for you with uh, the gals. So, okay. Sat and watch the freeway for a hundred thousand years. I saw the future says I haven't seen you since the last time you were here. Somewhere go to be
I think the real success of the band was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> and Julia is one of them, and she's incredible. And yeah, how lucky are we? I've been seeing my, I've been seeing my, seeing my own death. I've been laying down, I've been going down, giving strangers hope. Shut up! I've been telling myself that I'm better than this, but I'm not. None of you fucking are. You listen to me, all right? Now I've been underground, I've been slowing down, crossing county lines I've been coming to you, but it's always you, always on my mind Come to realize I've been looking the wrong way my whole life Now I see the first proper single that we ever put out all the way back in maybe like 2016 I'm gonna say um, this is the last time this is like the last time you're gonna be hearing these songs that's so sad we should have handed out like tissues no we're not gonna be like John Farnham and Kiss and Elton John and keeps no like 
Where we've never lied to you, we've never done an encore, and we're we're not gonna do a reunion tour. We don't. We respect you too much. No, I will hear no more about it. Excuse me. All right, we're ready to rock. This, this is like, is emo, emo songs. We're a power emo band. It's a genre that I invented for us, and we hope the legacy lives on. I hope an other annoying women pick up an electric guitar and just start screaming. Because the world needs more of you, I'm telling you right now.
This is the last song I'm gonna play guitar in ever. I can't wait to get press on nails. But it's so good. This is probably my favorite song that we've ever written as a band. And, oh. I'd like to dedicate it to anyone who traveled from out of state or from a different country, you amazing psychopaths. Thank you so much. We are like blown away. It's really beautiful. I hope this is worth it. No, it is. This, this show rocks. We're doing such a good job. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay.
fuck the guitar, I'm getting nails. That's what this is really all about. <laughs> no, just kidding. We just, everything needs to come to an end, you know? And this is like a really beautiful celebration of a really good eight years that we've had. And I don't know, life changes, it's cool. It's nice, it's exciting. You'll never get rid of us though. We're still around and we'll be even more annoying. Maybe me, maybe not Kelly or Jenny or Tomo, <laughs> but me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep being really annoying. So, um, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, um, How to Socialize and Make Friends was a, co was a cool album that we made. Um, and the last time we played here was at the end of that album cycle. I didn't know what an album cycle was until like three years into being a band. Um, because we've always been very like punk, you know? Like we don't, like we didn't have a guitar tech tonight, so if something goes wrong, we're really lucky because there's like a hundred techs in the building. Um, but we didn't bring our own, but that's okay. Um, We'd really like to thank our amazing Auslan interpreters for making our show accessible to the deaf community. Everyone do this. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's rock right now or I'm gonna lose it. This is the last time I'm playing with you. I love them all so much.
thanks so much for coming. Shout out to this side. And shout out to this side. Now battle it out. <laughs> Come on, it's the last show. Uh, right. This song it felt very like, I didn't hear that because I've got my monitors in. I'm really sorry. I really think it was funny and cool. I believe that because I believe everyone in this audience is funny and cool. Because you like Camp Cope. <laughs> Uh, thank you for liking us. Um, this song was very like unassuming and I didn't really know what it meant when I wrote it, but I wrote it about 10 years ago and it's been like a blessing ever since and it's made me realize my worth and I hope it makes you realize your worth and I think that it's okay to be wrong and it's okay to say dumb shit. And we're all learning, like no one's right. Life is long and that's okay. Don't put pressure on yourself. Just keep growing. Get him, Kelly. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Um, while I have the microphone, I'm going to thank Jennifer Aslett, who has been rocking with us for like two years, and it's been the best, and she, she rocks. So, on you, Jenny. Okay. Okay. Um, this next song was on our... <laughs> Tomo told me to. <laughs> no, that was cool. Um, the next song was on our last album, called our third and final album. I know. No, it's cool. Three albums is all a band should have. <laughs> Honestly. Um, and I wrote it about a dog. <laughs> no, I just, I don't, I, have, I don't have a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your dress looks, what does your dress say, Kelsey? Yeah, yeah bitch! <laughs> Also, while I'm here, what are we all voting tomorrow? Yeah! I don't give a fuck, we should talk about politics because this fucking matters, because Aboriginal lives matter. And we need a voice to parliament, it would have been helpful years ago. So, we're all voting yes.
so much. Probably wondering why we have this gigantic piano on this stage and no one's used it. I got some lyrics, they're for later. Um, I had to Google the lyrics to the songs and we had to Google bass tabs and we just forgotten. We haven't played together in like six months. Um, it's been a while. But it feels good. One last time for Camp Cope. <laughs> 2015 to 2023. The best eight years ever. Um, so, this song, I guess, is for anyone hurting right now and I don't know what else to say, that's it.
Did everyone see Coda? <laughs> Kelly's baby. Everyone put two fingers in the air and look at them. That's how many songs we have left. Forever. Can you believe it? It's the, it's the end. It's the end. No, I'm serious. No, it's, this isn't being like a whole long bit about tricking you. Again, we respect you too much to lie to you. The way that Kiss did, the way that John Farnham did, the way that all of them did. We're not like that. When we say we're ending something, we're ending it. When we say we're doing something, we'll do it. And um, this song's called Running With The Hurricane. It's the last time we're ever gonna play it. Oh my God. Get him, Jenny.
This is the last song. I know, I'm, I'm serious. It's the last song ever. Oy! But it's like, it's about 10 minutes. So. I don't know, I haven't counted, and I'm just gonna kind of stretch it out a bit. God. And I hope it, here's the lyrics. <laughs> and I hope this isn't like a big disappointment. Um, I don't think it will be, I think it's pretty good. Um, sorry, I have my back to you this side. I love you, appreciate you. Take me back about a lifetime Yeah, I was only 17 A side part, a short skirt Your band t-shirt Your biggest fan When you met me Saying, man, I love your band could you sign this for my friend? What happened then? I can't really remember But suddenly I'm on a couch In a run-down terrace house It was the 31st of December And oh, I've watched you the men like you Without hearing your name 
so much. Best eight years of my goddamn life.